Let's say you want a cold soda but forgot to put one in the refrigerator. What's the fastest way to make it cold? Well, I'm gonna be trying out a machine that can supposedly make your drink cold in a minute and then compare it to a trick that I frequently use by hand to make cold drinks. And then finally compare it to the fastest way I could think of to get anything really cold is just dunk it in liquid nitrogen. Okay, so I have three different sodas here. We're gonna try three different methods. These are all at room temperature around 75 degrees Fahrenheit 24 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's see how this works. It says to put in around 30 ice cubes. Okay, that's around 30. Okay, and then pour around two cups of water in it. Okay, and I guess I just place the can in here like this. Push can. Let's see what happens. Whoa, it's spinning in there. That's pretty cold water. Okay, it went for one minute. <laughs> Let's see how cold this is now. Feels very cold. Okay, we're down to 46, 47 degrees Fahrenheit. So this dropped around 30 degrees Fahrenheit in one minute in here. Now let's compare it to my method that I came up with and see how fast we can cool it down. Okay, here's my method that I frequently use. Okay, so what I do is just put some ice in a bowl, then put some salt on it, and then add a little bit of water to it. Okay, now we've got a starting temperature of 75 degrees for this one, and I'll do it for one minute, so same amount of time. So I basically just turn it in the ice like this. Now before we continue, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, BetterHelp. The last few years have been pretty difficult for everyone, and one of the most important things you can do in times like this is to focus on your mental health. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service, and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. And you can message your therapist anytime and schedule a live session when it's convenient for you. And if your therapist isn't the right fit for you for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who's custom-picked for you, more scheduling flexibility at a more affordable price. So get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash action lab, or you can click the link in the description. And thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the experiment. Okay, one minute. Let's see this temperature now. Ooh, not as cold, 54 degrees. So we're almost 10 degrees warmer than the previous one. So not quite as cold. I actually thought it'd do much better than it did. Okay, the final soda, room temperature, 75 degrees starting point. We're gonna give this one minute as well. Okay, and liquid nitrogen, three, two, one. <laughs> I'm afraid this is going to explode. <laughs> Safety glasses on. Uh oh, I hear a lot of crackling going on. Okay, it's been a minute. Let's end it. Oh. Oh, it's <laughs> solid. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that's frozen. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's only 48 degrees. <laughs> oh, but there's solid ice at the bottom. Okay, 37 degrees. Okay, so we got to try that again. So basically what happened is the outside of the can froze solid. The inside was still warm soda. Okay, this time I've got a plan. I have the soda in here and turn it as we go. Okay, start our time and go. Okay, 
Okay, one minute. Let's open it up. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so it's only 40. Okay, there we go. 43 degrees. So it still has an icy bottom. So if I stick it down in there. So even with the spinning, we still couldn't keep it from freezing on the bottom where most of the liquid nitrogen was. Okay, so because this drink cooler did so good, let's see what it can do. It has this extra setting. Let's see if it can actually get it colder than that 47 degrees. Okay, two minutes. Let's see how cold this actually got. Wow, 37 degrees. Look at that. <laughs> so three degrees Celsius, 37 degrees. <clears throat> yeah, that is ice cold now. So this is actually pretty impressive. It beat out my method, which I've used for years, and also even liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is just way too uncontrolled. This can get it to a pretty consistent temperature each time. In fact, in the instruction manual, 37 degrees is actually what it said it would come to after two minutes, and that's exactly what happened. Just for fun, let's see if this works with the plastic bottle as well. Whoa. This one's trying to escape a little bit. So this is a little crazier than the bottle, but still spinning. Let's see what temperature it gets to. So because of all the shaking, it looks like it got a little crazy. Let's see if it, it's going to explode on me. So we're at 47 degrees. So for the bottle, the heat transfer is much slower, so it takes a lot longer. There's also more, more volume here as well. Now the reason this beverage cooler works so well is because it was continually spinning the can really fast. And also we had moving water continuously pouring over it. If you just have a warm can and cold still water, what happens is that the heat transfers from the can into the water and starts to heat up the water around the can. So that the water that's right next to the can isn't as cold anymore. So you're simply relying on heat diffusion at that point. Diffusion of heat is the slowest way to transfer heat. What you want to do is continually mix the water so you don't have warm water building up around the can. So by constantly pouring water over the can, there's fresh cold water always at the surface of the can. And because it's ice water, that means that the surface of the can stays at a constant 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius. And since the can is spinning, all sides of the can are at the same temperature. And also the liquid inside the can is moving as well, so it reduces any boundary layers built up inside the can. So we had good mixing inside and outside the can. This is extremely efficient at cooling things down or even heating things up as well. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.